go on a power MU car in Georgia. It's a power car at one time. The pantographs are gone, but you can still see the vents on the top there with the motors and it has a headlight. So and air horn. So yeah, this is a Pullman Lackawanna MU power car. Again, a Hartwell, Georgia of all place on Hartwell Railroad. Still has a tear horn and everything in place. And 302, I think was those number. Uh, 102, is she numbered? 102, I'm sorry, 102. But pretty amazing still seeing something like this around. A number of them are on, on tourist railroads today, too. GW Railroad? I thought it was uh, former. former um, Fredericksburg, Potomac, G35136, and former uh, Bus Marine Lake Erie SD9454. Wow. Can't believe what I'm looking at. I'm utterly confused. This looks like the locomotive shop, yet there's no tracks going into it. Maybe have to go to Hartwell itself. I don't know. Whose railroad is that? Carolina and Southern, maybe? Could be. Doors. An ash pit for steam locomotives, wow. Because Southern steam locomotives once dumped their, dropped their fires here one time. ST9454 and Jeep 35, 136. I don't think we're in Hartwell, but anyway, you'd think that'd be the engine shop over there, but it's not. These, these locomotives have been used in a long time. Going by all the kudzu growing and all the weeds going on 454. Oh man, what a shame. But does the HRT there I mean Hartwell? It has a subbass from Lake Erie on it. And that still kind of serves as RFMP on it. There's another angle of Jeep 35. Yeah, obviously it's involved in a wreck, being his other um, you know, red and silver there. And the doors are upside down and backwards. RFMP is like really kind of messed up on this Jeep 35. And it too has not gone anywhere in a long time, which is a shame. Anyway. Mm.